Anime as a whole has been the subject of ridicule on the internet and in real life, especially in the early to mid 2010s, and no one has had it worse back then other than anime fans. If you were an anime fan back then, then you'd be outed as a neckbeard loser that doesn't leave his house the whole day. Being an anime fan back then is like being, uh, um, is like, uh, yeah, we're not giving any metaphors today. Anyway, during the past five years, the general consensus to anime fans today has been somewhat tame and neutral now compared back then. That's because of the rise of cosplayers, when people found out that being an anime fan is hot now. Coom, coom, coomer. About the blow. But just because it's all good now doesn't mean there's some bad apples, and fans who still give normal anime fans a bad name. Today, we'll talk about the worst kinds of anime fans throughout the years. Let's first address the elephant in the room, the coomers. Now, coomers are already horrible, but anime fans who are coomers? Now that's on a whole nother level. I can go on and on about the types of degeneracy in terms of these coomers, but there is one that I want to talk about the most. The coomer anime fans who base their entire personality to being coomers. Dude, I get it, you jack off to cartoons, you don't have to make a million memes and jokes about it, and call yourself a man of culture. Whatever the hell that means. Your meat is probably on life support when your entire humor is just being down bad in porn. Sure, there are memes where the entire punchline is literally porn that is funny, and I find personally funny. Yo, dick break hard like a metal. I got three holes for it. Like Yo! I love you, call me up. But please don't base your entire personality around it. Now that's out of the way, let's talk about actual anime fans. Let's start off at the early 2010s. Naruto fans made being an anime fan weird in the first place. I'm sick and tired of some of you getting my character wrong. I am Naruto Uzumaki. I'm not any other anime character. Got it? Out of the big tree, Naruto fans were the most prominent on the internet. One Piece fans will become prominent later on. But that's on another topic. The One Piece! The One Piece is real! And no, Dragon Ball is not part of the big tree. From coining the term Naruto running, making collecting swords and throwing stars lame, and not to mention being the most delusional fanbase during their time. If you think that Dragon Ball and Goku Meat Riders are delusional, then you have never seen a Naruto fan in the early 2010s. The reason why most delusional Goku Meat Riders aren't as delusional back then is because they weren't born yet, making Naruto fans the subject of ridicule for a long time, and is the first thought of a stereotypical anime fan. Now let's hop 5 years later and talk about an anime fanbase I know like the back of my hand. An anime fanbase that has been dubbed as the annoying anime fanbase of all time. And a fanbase I am proudly part of. <sighs> Jojo fans. Jojo fans were eating good in the early to mid 2010s, even though the fanbase was already alive and kicking a decade before. But they were prominent after the first and second parts of the manga were animated, with its ending credits being memed to oblivion to the point where even Family Guy referenced it. Hey, you wanna end the show with a to be continued meme? I, I don't even know what that- The first season of the anime alone served a lot of memes for the fanbase to go crazy for. Not to mention the first episode of the anime spawned probably the most well-known anime meme of all time. You probably know where I'm going with this. Is that a JoJo reference? Due to Jojo having a lot of references from other medias, fans of the series will go crazy when they spot it. Even if the thing isn't a reference or nowhere near related to Jojo, they would still find a connection. I thought my jokes were bad. A 17 year old boy is now in the ambulance after nearly getting crushed by a steamroller? Jojo reference. That's a Jojo reference. Making the fanbase one of the most annoying fanbases during the mid 2010s all the way after the fifth part of the manga had its anime adaptation. This era was the golden age of Jojo, 
the series garnered new fans, including me. With its fanbase growing, so is the hate for the fanbase and unfortunately, for the series as well. If isn't obvious by now, yes, I'm a JoJo fan. So why am I telling you this? Thanks to memes made by fans, a person who's new to the series can find new content to watch, read, or even play. Memes are an amazing way to popularize any series. Jojo fans have been known as obnoxious fans, but they can make good memes as well. But due to them being so obnoxious, that you'd be ridiculed as one. Now, with Jojo fans being the most annoying fans of the mid-2010s, what comes after them? Well, let me tell you. A fan base so toxic, so cringe, and even dangerous, the way this series amassed such a fan base should be studied. The MHA fan base. Some smells good in there. Mmm, what is that? What did you have to eat? That smells amazing! You gotta let me try- MHA or My Hero Academia is a superhero series, following our main character Deku, as he gets up to the ranks and become a well-respected hero, just like his inspiration. With a very innocent art style, wholesome characters, and with the run-of-the-mill stories of characters not giving up, how in the hell did the My Hero fanbase get to be labeled as cringe and downright dangerous? It's shipping. Shipping is where fans make a character have a relationship with another character. How they ship characters usually is in touch with the character's lore. Other times, it isn't. Like for example, this character and this character is married, or both has feelings for each other, which is why people ship them. That is good, but there are some times where none of that makes sense. Bear with me here. So this character killed this character. Bastard! Uh? So you wanna be a man? Step right up. It's your lucky day for real. I'm the strongest guy here by a country mile, and if anyone says otherwise, I'll beat him to a bloody pulp! I'm stronger than you! And I'm stronger than Big Bro! And now because of that, they're in love? What? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. So how did shipping ruin my hero's fanbase? Well, because that's what the majority of them do. They'll ship the main character with any, and I mean any, of the other characters. To his friends, even though he has an established relationship. To his rival that constantly verbally abuses him. His mentor and inspiration, which is by the way, years older than him. What? They even ship him with his friend's mom. Hell, even his own mom. And yes, they even ship him with himself. <coughs> Jesus, how handsome or charismatic is this guy to get shipped with all these characters? Oh. Oh, I... I get it. Never mind. With so many ships involved, the fan base has grouped together according to whichever ship they like. And if you don't like or don't support the ship, then they'll do anything to either change your mind or even dox you. Forget the old block gang wars. My hero shipping wars is where it's at. Where do you stay at? Old block. What do you do for a living? Bang bang. Not to mention the absolute chokehold that they have on TikTok back in the day. Todoroki! Midoriya! Todoroki! Midoriya! Wait, why are they both shouting each other's last names? They're fighting about which last name they use when they get married. But what the hell? When you're in the worst fan base competition and my hero fans pull up, it's safe to say that it's pretty much over for you. And finally, let's move on to the two most annoying fan base of the day. You heard me. Two. Getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. And that is Dragon Ball fans and One Piece fans. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's Jujutsu Kaisen fans and Chainsaw Man fans. Let's talk about Chainsaw Man fans first. Going back to what I've said of basing your entire personality to being down bad, Chainsaw Man fans sure are the spitting image of that today. 
And I kinda get it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I get the appeal, don't get me wrong. But stuff like this is just insane, come on now. As for the Jujutsu Kaisen fans, their memes is like akin to Jojo memes. In terms on how any scene from the anime or the manga can become a meme template. Not to mention edits based on the show. Dubbed as Lobotomy Kaisen, these edits can almost be anything. And I mean anything. Sure, they go hard. But the fanbase, usually the female audience, is way worse. You think male Chainsaw Man fans are the worst to being down bad? Then you've never seen a female Jujutsu Kaisen fan. See, there's several male characters in this series that female fans go feral for. This isn't new or a bad thing. The female fanbase of some series or other forms of media are often more insane than male fans. But the fact that they do heinous and diabolical stuff to some of the male characters' figurines is beyond me. This is on the league of that My Little Pony Jar incident. Makima simp of a son or a female Gojo fan of a daughter? Bro, I choose to get a vasectomy! Hello Sigmas. This is Thoughty's editor. The guy who has been editing Thoughty's latest long-form videos since the meme channel downfall video. Thoughty asked me to put anime ASM, our audio porn, at the end of this video. He even gave me the audio that would be used. It's apparently called Sunra Wolf Girl is in Heat for You. ASMR audio roleplay. I still haven't opened the file, and I have no intention of opening it. Instead of putting that gooner shit, I just want to tell you guys to watch until the end of the video so Thotty can get enough money and finally pay me. If you did watch at the end of the video, then tell him your favorite anime on the comment section. And don't tell him I didn't put on the gooner audio. Please let this cheapskate finally pay me.